On this first prom, girl, I was a little whimsical with the do. We did a nice pump up in the front and the sides were swept back very high on her head. And I curled the ends of her hair and gave her a side braid for just to add more interest to the hairdo. So we're looking at some very long hair here and I put the curls at the bottom because that's where they're going to stay and look the best and did the front of her hair to really bring up her face and show off her smile in her eyes. For my second prom woman, another uh, very long hair, uh, very much of a challenge with this kind of hair because it is so long and thick. So we did a French braid and just sort of made it a very messy, relaxed, not tight at all, more chill of a French braid used to look like for her prom experience. Because her hair was so thick, it was also very hot. So this worked for her for a multitude of reasons. For this model, she was a challenge as well uh, because she had shorter hair. It was almost, almost to her shoulders. And she was a tom girl. It didn't really have any ideas of her own and let me just work with it. I got the back into a French twist that was able to stay up successfully all evening and pumped up the front as best I could. But again, more of a messy, wispy, softer look than we've had in the past. And it worked for her. It worked very well. She was very happy with it. This lady too brought me a lot of hair and I did make this braid also. It was an inverted snake braid and I also made it very more cash with the swoop on the bang area to create the face that I wanted to see on her once her makeup was done and I wanted the, the hair to come down on the face a little bit more intriguing. So we took her hair up into French braid that was loosely braided and then the seam was identified with some rhinestones down to a butterfly that ended in barrel curls and um, another braid. Braiding is so in right now, it's all types of braids work, the messier the better really for what's happening right now. More chill, more relaxed and it looked adorable on her. This young lady also had very, very long hair and I wanted to do something very interesting with it. So I started with pulling it up, giving her that little bump on the top, pulling it up almost straight to the top of her head on her sides and starting to braid. Making the braid travel around in the direction where I've also done other chignons and barrel curls mixed together with the braids going interlooping around that. For an interesting design and something very unique and different, it was very stylish, very sleek, very trendy. This young lady also brought me some beautiful long hair, beautiful color and shine to it and I wanted her braid also to travel around her head because it shows it gives the design uh, unique on each side of the head as to how the braid is going and just on a lark I left one hair out to cur just curl before her ear just just to throw something in there and make it even more chill it was very beautiful on her it matched her dress it matched her it worked well Certainly not least, this young lady that brought me probably the most hair of all. She just had hair for days. And in that case, 
you must truly displace the hair. And so I spent some time thinking about what I wanted to do around her face, what would look the best. She too has an oval, almost a complete perfect oval face. So almost anything you do will look good on her. She's got some wispies of her own that I just in integrated into the style and began to wrap hair from one side of the head to the other till I got to the hairdo I really liked that I thought would look more balanced on her. And she, she did really like it. She said it felt very balanced and very secure. And uh, that's what I want as a hairdresser. The, if the hair feels balanced and secure, then you're gonna enjoy your hairdo for the whole night and not worry about it, nor will you get a headache because there's one bobby pin bothering you. So that's my gig and that's what I love to do. And there's your prom.